In this video, I'll go over setting up OpenSpeed Tests through Docker on a Synology NAS. OpenSpeed Tests works like speed test websites that you find on the internet, like speedtest.net, providing you with ping, upload, and download speeds to the location you are testing against. But being that we'll be running OpenSpeed Tests on our Synology NAS, it provides us with more personalized speed test results, allowing us to get details about our LAN, Wi-Fi, and VPN or remote connections directly to our Synology NAS. To learn more about Open Speed Tests, check out their Docker Hub page and their website, which I'll link to in the description below. Being that we'll be using Docker to run Open Speed Test, we'll need to install the Docker package from the Package Center. I'll do that by going to the Package Center within DSM, search for Docker, then click Install. Next, I'll close the package center and launch Docker from the main menu. Here, I'll click on Registry and do a search for Open Speed Test. The version I'd like to use is the Open Speed Test latest image, so I'll select it and click Download. I'll leave the tag as latest and click Select. Now, I'll switch to the image listing, and after the Open Speed Test image completes downloading, I'll select it and click Launch. I'll rename the container, which is an optional step, then click on Advanced Settings. Here, the only changes that are needed are under Port Settings, where I'll change the local port to match the container port for ports 3000 and 3001, and remove the 8080 port listing, which doesn't seem to be needed from what I've seen. Depending on your setup and if ports 3000 and 3001 are already in use, you may need to adjust the port numbers to something appropriate to your environment. I'll click Apply, then Next, and finally Done to complete the setup. At this point, the Open Speed Test container is up and running, and now I can run a speed test on my LAN from my MacBook to the Synology NAS that is running the container. From a New Browser tab, I'll enter in the HTTP address of the Open Speed Test container along with port 3000 to display its web interface. Note also if I'd like to use HTTPS and the self-signed certificate assigned to the container, I could do so by using port 3001 and approve the certificate, which is what I'll do here. Once approved, I'll start up the speed test and wait for the results. My MacBook is currently connected to the LAN through a gigabit ethernet adapter, and from the results that I get, it looks like the connection between my MacBook and the Synology NAS running Open Speed Test is running as expected. Next, I'd like to check how my Wi Fi connection is working, so I'll disconnect the Ethernet adapter from my MacBook, reload the Open Speed Test web page, and start another speed test. The transmission rate to my Wi Fi access point is around about 400 megabits per second, so the results from the speed test is what I'd be expecting as well. Lastly, I have a Synology NAS at my mom's house running open speed test, and I can determine the connection speed between my home and hers by establishing a VPN connection, which I'll do through WireGuard, connect to the open speed test website on the Synology NAS on the remote end, and start up a speed test. The results can help me determine what connection speeds I can expect and help me figure out how long backup tasks will take, for example. As you can see, running your own open speed test Docker container on your Synology NAS can be very helpful in figuring out what network speeds you can expect either locally on your LAN or remotely through a VPN connection. Hopefully you found this information useful and make sure to like this video if you did. Also, check out some of my other network performance and monitoring videos listed here on screen, and consider subscribing to this channel as well. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the Support This Channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.